Hey there, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can bridge an NFT between different layer two networks. Now to do this, I will be using ZK Bridge. It's not a complicated tool, but there's a few steps to it. So let me just walk you through it. Now you can do this to bridge an NFT that you already own, or you can mint a new NFT and then at the same time, send it to a different network. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So for starters, once you connect your wallet, you can select the network. Now they only have this enabled currently for a few few networks, Ethereum mainnet, and then a couple of different layer twos. So these are the options right here. So let's say I wanted to send an NFT from Polygon to the Binance smart chain. First, let me show you how you can import an NFT that you already own. And then I'll show you how you can create your own NFT. So I own this NFT right here. So I'm going to send this. And the details that we need are below the picture of the NFT in this section here, where we can find the token contract address and ID. So we're gonna to want to click on that and copy the contract address, go back to the ZK bridge and paste that in here under contract address. And then we're gonna go back and copy the token ID, which is this number right below. And this is the number that represents this specific NFT. So we go back to the ZK bridge and paste that in and hit confirm import. And once we've done that, it confirms that this NFT is in our wallet, so we can go ahead and hit next. Now we have to select where we're sending it to. So we can actually bridge this NFT to a number of different chains. The options for where you can send it to are greater than where you can send it from at the moment. So let's say we wanted to send this NFT to the Arbitrum chain. So we could select that there. The address is gonna be the same as your current wallet address. It's the same address, just on a different network. So we'll leave that like that. Although if you wanted to, you could send it to somebody else, but I'm gonna send it to myself on the Arbitrum chain. Then I go ahead and hit next. And finally, we have to approve a transaction in our wallet and it's gonna cost a small amount in transaction fees for this. Two transactions actually. First, we have to allow access to the NFT and then we have to actually send it. Okay, now that we've approved access, we can go ahead and transfer it. And there is going to be a small fee for sending this. I'm doing it for the purposes of this tutorial, but obviously you wouldn't wanna just randomly transfer NFTs all the time if you don't have to. However, this is a useful tool if you want to send an NFT from one network to another. So let's go ahead and confirm this for science. Okay, so the transaction has been approved, although it might take a little time to confirm on the blockchain, sending this NFT from Polygon to Arbitrum. And this is using Layer Zero's infrastructure. So one of the other benefits of this, aside from getting to transfer your NFTs from one network to another, is that it could potentially help if you're trying to qualify for a Layer Zero airdrop. And if we hit on the View Layer Zero scan, we can follow the transaction along and see the time estimate for this to actually complete. And when it does go through, I'll be able to see it in my NFT collection on the Arbitrum chain. So that is how you bridge an NFT that you already own. Now, what about if you wanted to create an NFT and then transfer it? Well, we could go back to the beginning here by hitting transfer another NFT. Same situation, we select a from network, but in this case, instead of importing an NFT, we would hit create an NFT. Here, you would simply add an image, whatever you want. So let's say I wanted to make this picture of my cat into an NFT. Then you could name the NFT, add a description, and then finally, you can select the network. So we're gonna try Polygon again. This is gonna be an ERC721 contract, meaning that each token created is unique, and then you can select the supply down below. Then all you have to do is hit create, and then it's gonna pop up again in your wallet asking you to confirm the transaction. So we'll do that. Okay, once the NFT is successfully created, then you're gonna to want to go back to the bridge. It automatically imports the information for you. And then you can go ahead and complete the same exact process from there on out. So yeah, that's basically it. That's how you bridge NFTs between different Ethereum layer two networks. Hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. I'll see you later.